has been in operation, what the 73 years, uh, whether it's health, Big, big we must position ourselves to continue. An Islamic bank called the first community bank. PPPs have a great potential supporting the transition. How do we, as women, I think to help. the issue of research that goes time, whom they're fighting for their future, a youth and a new generation. Well, these are from the literature as much as anything else. Four private investors and there's nothing bad. I'd like to say a very warm welcome to everyone. Uh, um, they, they can really benefit from uh, going to be achieved. The UN is not going to do what process. There was um, uh, quite a bit of movement in there. History of diabetes, history of race, total cost. What is the role of local community? And the current discussion on the implementation yeah, of there's, they're, they're like an unstoppable. Concerning uh, about the only one quarter of the worldwide Mom? population. Inshallah, uh, the presentation on exploration of sustainable social development, social and economic challenges. As for people are doing yeah. for women. Of course, green behavior. Um, uh, uh, Today is my topic is initiative by the government. So the main concern in this research was about the uh, infrastructure, health sector, of multilateral engagement. The business, the business is for profit. Yes, business. Is and we have two kinds of markets in Sudan. That is insurance. Basically, the market is affected by uh, gestational labor. <laughs> Uh, the individuals uh, eco-sensitive behavior on this topic and have many reports and public uh, structure of my uh, proposed framework and 2,4-D on management of That's because most of these deaths are preventable. Uh, of many other uh, actions. Uh, but I think that you're missing a trick if you don't. In the very high income. Uh, uh, I would uh, like to exclude specified areas of Sudan. And I would in like to thank the UN Joint Inspection Unit. In order to invest this land, well, we need to... research objectives, the teamwork concept. Problem. Uh, for me to realize that this Gulf Cooperation Council essentially... So I can't mean that that has up CSE out of the there's so much technology floating around. A lot of students. Why? And here affect our population. Projects from the UN agencies uh, okay. this year. We have responsibility over. Working and the scaling over. solar program is the first solar. A really globalized experience. Homeland taking measures to. What we've learned along the way and how this influences. <laughs> So, in terms of the way that we approach education, or a government in exile, or you know, to demands for the president Omar al Bashir and, to and a brave partnership, yeah. uh, producing biofuels and chemicals. So, is, so is our lifestyles. I've been really observed worldwide. Uh, These conditions create poverty and lack of passage. And I think the reason was exactly this, as I said, the kiss principle. So now the question is how can we ensure scientists uh, um, develop uh, uh, they take care of also. But of course being a woman, she uh, found in the UK and yeah. in terrifying things to hear nowadays. A very scientific approach to uh, development. Trademarks, relationships, uh, knowledge. To actually see an enhanced impact. To identify in a way we are today. Among uh, the countries uh, to sign the UN. Of children who fight for their right to an education. That was aimed at examining the relationship between. We have an issue with late presentation in Sudan. and this is how the a very important question does first we're going to hear all the speakers and then leave all the questions to the end with this 
we could see the, the youth group has started. We've uh, uh, accomplished quite a lot. And level of stress, social, and of breast cancer. And the way it does that is it increases households' consumption and investment. And unemployment, and then compared. For me, education is the key for my future.